Canada faces unprecedented technological and societal challenges. We are in urgent need for engineers to advance innovation and create economic opportunities. This is about our future. Waterloo Engineering has a history of doing things differently. We are once again transforming how engineers are educated. To do this, we will construct Engineering 7. In my mind, E7 is an opportunity to educate the engineer of the future. It'll be men, it'll be women, it'll be uh, students from all around the world. It allows the kids to be immersed in the Faculty of Engineering, and I think this is where the real inspiration occurs. When these kids see young adults that aren't that much older than them, and they're able to see the kind of really inspirational and transformative things they're able to do, it really is just so inspiring. Well, what happens in the RoboHub is actually a lot of fun, I should say. With all the technology that we will have housed inside there, we are able to uh, conduct very advanced research that we will not be able to do elsewhere. It will be the first of its kind in the world. We will have in there a magnetic levitation train. Uh, we will have humanoid type robotics. Uh, we will have aerial robotics, a fleet of aerial robots. But the exciting thing about having E7 is the fact that this will be a landmark for the Faculty of Engineering and the campus wide here at the University of Waterloo and beyond. It is of utmost importance for us to realize this vision. Today, the students that are coming into the engineering program, they are more inclined towards the digital world. So the engineering education has to respond and to say, hey, in order to build a complete engineer, what are the deficiencies that our students have? They are missing out on hands-on experience. So the experiential education at Waterloo in the form of the Ideas Clinic provides the students with an opportunity to gain hands-on experience. This kind of facility is truly a education-motivated building. The new space in E7 would, would enable us to really come up with strong connections with major companies in the world and conduct research and development that will actually move us toward next generation of additive manufacturing. With our new facility and space in E7, we would be one of the 10th largest uh, academic facilities in the world. Everybody agrees that Waterloo has a different culture. We do things differently. We are not afraid to innovate, we are not afraid to take risks, and we like to work with industry. In order to continue being the leader, we need to invest in space, we need to continue our culture of innovation and entrepreneurship, and this is going to require a lot of translational research, and this kind of research will be done in E7. E7 is huge in representing where Waterloo Engineering wants to go to educate the engineer of the future because it's really focused on hands-on learning, experiential learning, but also the entrepreneurial spirit. That's where the engineer of the future is going. We really need your help to make this happen. E7 will be the birthplace for student innovations. I'm asking for your support. Help us achieve our goals, not just for engineering education, but for the future of Canada.